It isn't Bo Schembeck, though. That's the misconception. You see, every season is different. People don't understand that. It isn't me. I mean, I, I just happen to be the coach. And, and championships are important to me because they have such a tremendous effect on the guys that play. That's the fun of it. In his 17 seasons at Michigan, Bo has won 10 conference championships. But no one's ever mistaken this for a good time. Bo is on the field. Bo Schembechler is going crazy. Schembechler is all the way out past the numbers. Early, Bo was just as tough on his own team as he was with officials. But he's been able to formulate lasting respect with his players, who can now look back at the old Bo and share a laugh. Bo Schembechler, when he got to Ann Arbor, contrary to what he says now, he was a maniac. Oh, God, he was tough on us. I used to make Dan come in under 250. He didn't like that. And if he didn't make 250, I put him on the track at 6.30 in the morning. So that's why he's calling me a maniac. If Bo has maniacal tendencies, he comes by them honestly. As a player at Miami of Ohio, he was a 190-pound tackle under Woody Hayes, a good and outspoken role model. Then when Hayes went to Ohio State and Schimbeckler to Michigan, the foundation was formed for a great rivalry among close friends who respect each other's volatile nature. I am proud of him. He's a wonderful man, and we're very close friends. And you know who likes him better than I do? My wife. And she says the three men that she likes most are Cary Grant, uh, Thomas Jefferson, and Bo Schimbeckler. <laughs> yeah, she's said that to me herself. <laughs> I think I'm a distant third. <laughs> Saturday afternoons at Michigan Stadium, there's no doubt that Bo Schimbeckler is the man in control, the man calling all of the shots. But it's a different story when he comes here to his home of 17 years. I run everything, every place I've ever been except at home. When I'm at home, I'm second string. I like it that way, too, because I'm sort of a take-charge person. And um, he, he never seems to do things to please me, you know, and I think that's deliberate, but it works. Though some people say a heart attack, open-heart surgery, and age should slow Bo down. Don't try convincing his players he's taking it easy. I know a lot of people say that he's mellowed, but if he's mellowed, I would have hate to have seen him in the early 70s. The current players may not call this mellow, but take it from the coach, it is. I used to attack difficult situations with my fist, but I've uh, mellowed a little bit now. Coacher lost his balance and slipped down. Michael Reed, number 52, is defending. What a game he had last week against Wyoming. He was involved in two against Michigan. He's out with a bad shoulder. Second down, 10 for Harbaugh. A handoff to Wilshire. Tripped up at the 36. Wiltshire has tremendous speed. He's the NCAA 55-meter high hurdle champion. Dick Teets, number 59, made the tackle. That's pretty strong when you got your number one running back goes down and you got a kid like Wiltshire. Harper's pass is complete to Ken Higgins. A oh, good quick release, and he pumped fake once, and they kind of had that sidearm action right on the money. Beautiful pitch. Watch this pitch by Harbaugh. He's got great pass protection, too, Mel. He can just stand back there. He's got his eye on the receiver all the way. Ken Higgins. Looks like he could have a big day. He's already caught a couple passes tonight. Made some great catch earlier as you take a look at him. He caught seven passes, 119 yard, yards coming in. Gerald White, Thomas Wilson in the backfield, along with Perriman as they go to the wishbone on first down. Off to Perriman, a 226-pound, 58. The handoff to Wilcher. They try to strip the ball away. First down. And you're going to see one of the best quarterbacks in the country, and John Pay. He can really throw it. Gerald White. John Colasar is in motion. The handoff to Wilcher. Oh, what he did he get popped? Michael Reed. Woo. What a game. under pressure and he unloads it that's intentional grounding there wasn't a Harbaugh going long he's got Colasar open and he's got it inside the 10. well what a beautiful touch John a... Colasar getting behind the quarterback Bobby Taylor I tell you what a beautiful pitch by Jim Harbaugh and a beautiful maneuver by John Colasar 48 yards on this off of play action not good too good of faking it's just a straight 
fly pattern on the right side. Kosar beat the cornerback over there. Is that Nate Odoms? No, nope, that's Bobby Taylor over there. And Wilshire in the backfield. And it's Perriman, the fullback, blasting down near the five-yard line. Charlie Farley, number 42, made the tackle for Wisconsin. O'Shem Beckler setting into play. I was going to say what made that even more beautiful as far as the Wolverines are concerned. It was, what, third and about 20? They right. just throw the home run like that right on the money. That was Colsar beating Bobby Taylor. Boy, that's going to be costly maybe if you look back on it. Now on a second down situation at the five. The Wolverines go with two tight ends and the wishbone. Hand off to Wiltshire. Bearing into the end zone for a touchdown. You Tough running by Wiltshire, a 188-pounder, just overpowering people. I tell you, wonderful running off the right side, and the blocking wasn't bad at the point of attack the over there either. But Thomas Wiltshire, the senior out of Detroit, has really showed me some. He's got great speed. So Michigan has taken the lead. Pat Moon's in to try to point after with a punter, Monty Robbins, holding for him, and the conversion kick is good. So there's a timeout on the field with 3.51 remaining in the first quarter. It's Michigan 7 and Wisconsin nothing, and we'll be right back. 37, watch the fake. Watch the block now, Gerald White on the right side. Now watch the running of Thomas Wilshire. He just carries Michael Reed right into the end zone. Three pretty good moves moves by all the backs. The drive covering 100 range lead it 7 to nothing. Joe Armentrout, number 23, is now in the backfield for Wisconsin along with Marvin Artley. Armentrout was not expected to play much. He's had a bad shoulder. There he is. He's a co-captain of the football team and a captain of the baseball team here at Wisconsin. And it's Armantrout with his first carry of the game. The tackle made by Andy Moeller, number 49. Armantrout, big hole, and he rips through it. He's got a first down. Good blocking over on the right side now for the Wisconsin Badgers. Last couple of minutes here in the first quarter, and they're starting to move the second first down. Look at the blocking up front. Little trap blocking. Armantrout just moves off to the right side. He ran to daylight beautifully, and he got 11 yards in the first down. Another look. A little double team blocking there. Howard to throw. Hartley again. Inside the 25 with the 23, and he's got another first down. With that little fake. Marvin Hartley. Flag down. I think he changed the play at the line of scrimmage, Mel. Did gain a couple. Andre McIntyre, number 54, made the tackle for Michigan. And we've got a penalty marker down. Another five against the Badgers. Good ball. Encroachment on the offense. Tompkins is wide to the left. Bester split to the right. Howard throwing long for Tompkins in the end zone. It's incomplete. Reginald Tompkins and the handoff to Hartley. They almost got the first down there. He was within a hair of breaking, at least for the first down there. It's an ankle tackle. It's going to force a field goal attempt. Andy Moeller brought him down, who leads uh, the Michigan team in tackles so far this year with 39. Coming in, 27 is unassisted tackles. He's been all field goals. From this range, he's one for one on the year. The Badgers are on the scoreboard. A 35-yard field goal by Todd Gregory and with 13-10 remaining in the second quarter. It's now Michigan 7 and Wisconsin 3. We'll be right back. Seven to three, Michigan leading. A high short kick. It'll be taken by one of the up men. That's a fair catch. Bob Perriman right signaling for a fair catch. You won't see that too often. We talked about that last week. You may signal for a fair catch on the kickoff. They thought they'd catch him sleeping, and that kid was wide awake. See, this ball is kicked very high, and he's getting a little nervous there. Now, 
you didn't see the signal there for the fair catch, but about two or three seconds before that, stuck up his arm. Thomas Wiltshire almost tried to take it away from him. He wanted to run it back. So Michigan goes to work first and 10 at the Wolverine 26. Gerald White 22, Thomas Wiltshire 27 in the backfield, along with Jim Harbaugh. Kenny Higgins is in motion. A handoff to Wiltshire. Hard hitting by a fired up Wisconsin team as Dick Teach, number 59, teed off on him. Kentucky leading Southern Mississippi, three to nothing in the first quarter. Sean Higgins split to the near side. Harbaugh with a play action fake. And a pass is caught. What a catch by Ken Higgins going over the top of Bobby Taylor for the reception. First down, Michigan. I tell you what, beautiful concentration on a pass receiver right here. Ken Higgins, you'll see he looks, he is wide open here. A little cross pattern, a pretty good pick there. And he gets hit just as the ball arrives. Great concentration. That's Bobby Taylor on the hit. A gain of 20 yards, and apparently Higgins was shot. Pitch to Wilshire gets a good block from White. Good and he's running. across midfield into Wisconsin territory. Like Nate Odoms finally brought him down. What a great block by Gerald White. I'll tell you, this kid makes up his mind when he lied. He turns it on. This kid's a fine running back. He's got a good sense for open field here. And then when he comes into traffic, he puts that head down and gets an extra two. End of eight yards. It'll be second down and two for Michigan. Colasar wide to the right. Greg McMurtry split to the near side. Harbaugh seems to be changing the play. Oh, he hurry. I'll tell you what happened. Wiltshire. Look at this kid. Look at him go. He's got a first down. What he wanted to tackle of Michael Reed. It's a first down for Michigan at the 40-yard line of Wisconsin. 11:09 remaining in the second quarter. Gerald White. And Rob Perriman, number 37, in the backfield now for the Wolverines. Colasar on the slot left. Harbaugh in trouble. And he'll take a loss of about play action by Harbaugh. And his pass is incomplete, intended for Higgins. And let's go back to Kevin Slate facing a third and 14 situation. And he's going long for Colasar, and it's tipped away. Great play by Nate Odom. Nate Odom leads his team. Kevin Armitrout in the backfield. It's Joe Armitrout off left tackle. And he busts out for a good pickup. John Willingham brought him down. And now let's pause five seconds to allow him. Third down four for Wisconsin. Howard with time, and the pass is complete to Brian Anderson, breaking away from a tackler for a first down. Getting away from the linebacker. And that was a great catch on the interception by Andy Moore. Let's see what we can see here. I tell you, the guy was open. That wasn't that bad a pitch. That was just a great defensive move here. He was open. Andy Moeller, beautiful interception. The pass was intended for Joe Armantrout, who made the tackle. Andy's father, Gary, the defensive coordinator for Michigan. Both he and Jim Harbaugh grew up as youngsters around Michigan football. Jim Harbaugh's father was at one time an assistant coach here, and uh, they've been around both Shembruckers when they were time, uh, about nine years old. Great field position for the Wolverines. Thomas Wiltshire. Big pickup on first down. Charlie Fawley made the tackle for Wisconsin. Well, what a good block. Michael Dames, the left guard, number 76, the junior from Miami, 6'5", 260 pounds. Wilcher following him right up into the hole for about six. Speaking of six, six minutes left in the first half. We both expect Thomas Wilcher has carried 13 times for 52 yards in the first half. Gerald White gets the call, breaks the tackle. Inside the 20, down inside the 15-yard line. Hard running by White. Nate Odoms finally stopped it. Good trap blocking right up front. Good quick hitter. Gerald White, the senior from Titusville. Titusville, Florida. This quick hitting. This is probably the quickest hitting play that the Wolverines have, and I think it surprised the Wisconsin defense. He's averaging three and a half yards a pop. He scored twice. He picked up 11 on that play. 
And we've got a Michigan player shaken up. It's the tight end, Jeff Brown, coming off the field. Derek Walker, number 89, has replaced him. Brown, not only a pretty good receiver, but he's an excellent blocker. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Michigan threatening. Higgins wide to the right. Kolasar splits to the left. And apparently Jim. First and 10 at the 14. to Thomas Wilson inside the 10. Almost broke it. Michael Reed makes the tackle. Bob Perriman threw a great block for Wilcher. That's just par football off the right side. Everybody's over there. Thomas Wilcher, hard running, picked up seven. He's had 59 yards now and 14 carries. to Perriman and he's inside the five down to about the two yard line. Well it's a good thing he gave the football off to Bob Perryman because he slipped Harbaugh slipped lost his balance and went down. Good quick hitter. Charlie Farley made the tackle for Wisconsin wins at Michigan 199 overall. He spent six years the head coach in Miami of Ohio his alma mater before coming to Michigan. First and goal again the wishbone two tight ends. off to Wiltshire and he's in for his second touchdown of the first half. Thomas Wiltshire, they faked it to Perryman there, just the, the old little crossback, crossback series. Fullback goes left, left halfback counters, went in easily. So it's now 13 to three in favor of Michigan. Right down the line of scrimmage. Thomas Wiltshire, his second touchdown. Pat Moons to try the conversion with Monty Robbins holding for him. Trying to make it 14 to 3. And the kick by Moons is good. So there's a timeout on the field with 4.06 remaining in the. Thomas Wiltshire taking over for the injured Jamie Morris, and he scored two touchdowns in the first half. will get a chance to run one back across the 20 25 and tripped up at the 28 yard line by number 10 Alan Bishop of Michigan Odom's quick good size too for that cornerback position Reginald Tompkins is wide to the left Scott Vester wide to the right the handoff to Armand Trout nothing doing third long John Schulte, number 41, made the stop. His brother, Tim, also. David Burks, number three, and a wide receiver for Wisconsin. Third down eight. Here comes the pressure. And the pass is incomplete. Should have caught it. He had it in his arms, and he just couldn't hold on. Scott Bester was the intended receiver. Good pitch that time by Mike Hard. Scott Bester just couldn't hold it. Now, you got a guy like Jim Harborough. He's got enough time here. 2.43. He's got two timeouts left. John Kolasar waiting the kick by Scott Sapicki. Sapicki is from St. Louis and apparently is a bit of a character, and they call him the free spirit of St. Louis. Good kick. Kolasar to 17. Good coverage by Wisconsin. Victor Fortino hustling downfield to make the tackle a 41 yard kick and a five yard return. There have been a few. Jim Harbaugh on the handoff to Gerald White makes a tackle and is finally put down. They want to move it out. They get it out to the 30. They'll go into the hurry-up offense. Football player right here at the University of Michigan. Two-time All-American. Later had a fine career in broadcasting. He sure did. 
and his son, of course, uh, movie star Mark Harmon, who's a fine quarterback at UCLA. An incomplete pass, a little shovel pass. Jim Komet was all over. Third down, eight. Harbaugh with time, and his pass is complete to the fullback, Perriman. Charlie Hawley there to make the tackle on him. That'll bring up a punting situation for the Wolverines. And a 37. Intended for the tight end, Brian Anderson, I think, Bell. And the ball was kind of thrown a little bit behind his target. It was deflected and caused the interception. Ball uh, could have been caught, and it could have been a little bit better pass, too. You see the tight end over the middle. It's a little bit high. There goes the deflection. And right off the Moeller, second interception tonight. And Michigan may have a chance to get some more points before the first half comes to an end. 25 seconds left. The Wolverines have two timeouts remaining. Ken Higgins splits wide to the right. John Colasar wide to the left. First down at the 38. Harbaugh back to throw. And Gerald White can't hold it. 21 seconds remaining. Tim Jordan making the hit on White. And Bo Schembechler will send into play. They got to go downfield. Nothing coming out of the backfield like four, five or six yard pass patterns like that. No, no. They got to go downfield and try to pick up at least 20, 25 yards in the next 15 seconds. Greg McMurtry, number one, is in at wide receiver for Michigan. Second down up to 38. Harbaugh's got a man open. Higgins complete at the 20 down to the 19-yard line. He's got a first down. 14 seconds remaining. Bobby Taylor made the tackle. And got time for another play. Said 25. Beautiful pitch. Right on the money. Coverage very soft back there. Michigan will take a timeout, so the Wolverines have one timeout remaining. Jim Harbaugh conferring with Shem Beckler. And look Another star from the past, one of our pals, Ron Kramer. I just left him last night. There's Ron. And, of course, he does our games on WTBS. He worked one of the games on Turner Network earlier today. He earned Indiana Northwestern. What a great football player. Best tight end I've ever seen. He was the last man at... That is not Ron Kramer, by the way. Looks like him. He was the last man at Michigan to letter nine times. I think Ron has a hat like that, though, doesn't he? He does. He's got a lot of hats. Did I think Iowa over Michigan State? How about that? Mm. Indiana is apparently for real. Minnesota winning big over Purdue. 14 seconds remaining. Michigan has one timeout left. The Wolverines lead 14 to 3. Harvest pass is complete to Kenny Higgins, and he's out of bounds to stop the clock. He's out at the 11-yard line. They got a little decision to make here. You go ahead and kick the field goal. You got nine seconds. Got time for one more play if it's a quick action. The only problem here is if it's a been in the end zone. Harbaugh on the move, throwing into the end zone, and he throws it clear into the stands, just throwing it away as no one was open. He wanted to go to Colasar, but he was well covered. And we have three seconds remaining in the half, and Pat Boons will come in to try a field goal. Smart move. Didn't want to risk the interception. Didn't want to force it in there. Just threw it out of bounds. He really threw it out of bounds. Bones, who's made four of eight on the season. This attempt will be from the 18, so it's a 28-yard field goal. Looks like one of my passes when I wasn't trying to throw it out of bounds. <laughs> Bones now two for three from this range. You mentioned he missed a 26-yarder earlier. This kick is good. So Michigan is able to score again, and that will bring the first half to an end. It's the end of the first half from Camp Randall Stadium in Madison, Wisconsin, with the score. The Michigan Wolverines, 17, and the Badgers of Wisconsin, 3. We'll be right back. Three points on the board. Well, Wisconsin had the ball and were moving twice, and twice... Moeller intercepted passes. And it set up 10 points. It was 7-3 at the time, so those two interceptions figured prominently into the score. It's now 17-3. to 
difference seemed to be that Michigan was able to complete a lot of long passes by Jim Harbaugh. Most of Mike Howard's passes were short. Touch on the pass, the way Harbaugh, Harbaugh does it. 48, Ernie Holloway, and 40, John Collisar, winning the kick by Todd Gregory in the second half. Underway here in Wisconsin. And again, a high short kick taken by Bob Perryman at the 25. And he's brought down to the 30-yard line, so that apparently they want to keep the ball away from the dangerous deep man, particularly Colasar. Victor Fortino made the tackle. Well, they're giving up pretty good field position when they do that. Short kicks, they got it to 30. Kind of strange. I don't know. It'd be pretty tough to make that pan. The handoff to Gerald White on first down. White has carried the ball sparingly, but what a great job he's done blocking for Thomas Wiltshire. But, but you know, sometimes, you know, he plays the up back in the, in the wishbone. He gets a few plays that kind of... White with a pickup of four yards, so it'll be second down and six. The fake to Wiltshire. Harbaugh going long on second got down. Open. He's got the freshman, Greg McMurtry. And he's dragged down inside the five-yard line by Nate Odoms. It'll be first and goal to go for Michigan, a 64-yard game. I'll tell you, Jim Harbaugh has got tremendous touch on the football. He got the speedy McMurphy, the freshman, 6'3", 200 pounds, and they're going to be high on this young man. And off the play action, there's the counter action. Looked like it was going to throw it to Wilshire, and, and I'll tell you, Harbaugh got hit, and he still put it right on the money. McMurtry almost goes in, and that's Nate Odom saves six points. McMurtry wearing number one, formerly worn by All-American Anthony Carter. Absolutely, and you saw Harbaugh get hit just he released. Wishbone formation, first and goal to go for the Wolverines. The fake to Perriman. Harbaugh, the keeper, down near the goal line, stopped at about the one-yard line by Tim Jordan, number 95. Now go to the wishbone when they get down inside the 10-yard line. It's Wiltshire in for his third touchdown of the game, but there is a penalty marker down. Somebody moved on the left side. It's going to go against Michigan. A little anxious on the left side. Looked like Mike Huzar, I think, number 74. Is he in there? Illegal procedure against Michigan. Something to his backs. Not... He, he can't said, hear. He can't hear again. Here we go. He said, I don't want to. Six. And it's getting louder. And the longer he waits, the louder this crowd gets. But you know what? you got to look. Forget the play by now. Here he goes again. get a little bit ridiculous both ways I think it's kind of a flip of the coin up here I don't know this is the longest delay I've ever seen because of crowd now, noise I think if it were really the fault of the crowd I think the referee's thinking here as well I think he could go ahead and get the count off if he wanted to I'm not going to charge him with the timeout until it really gets bad now it's getting a little bit louder now, if it was re really really bad in Mr. Quinn's mind he would have charged another timeout by now to Wisconsin but he can't do anything against the offense. But he's inside the five. Down to about the three-yard line where Michael Boykin, the nose guard, makes a stop. So that'll bring up a third and goal situation from the three. Bob Perriman, the fourth leading rusher last year for the Wolverines. He won. Play action fake. Harbaugh's pass is complete for a touchdown to number 22, Gerald White. Play action pass. They faked the White coming out of the deep man in the eye. He just went into the end zone, hooked up, and Harbaugh put it right low. Couldn't be intercepted. First touchdown pass of the night for him and number four on the year. Gerald White caught two touchdown passes last year against Wisconsin, and he's got one tonight. Here it is now, now watch 22. He's coming right, right towards you, right in the screen. He's going to catch a pass. Seems slide to the right. The pass is low. Good camera work there for six points. Pat Boones with a conversion kick. Monty Robbins holding. And the kick is perfect. Oh. On TNT. Key's pass is incomplete. It was thrown behind the intended receiver. Number 88, Brian Anderson, the tight end. Dieter Heron, 
deflected the pass, knocked it out of bounds. So a punting situation for Wisconsin as Scott Sapicki comes on. John Kolasar is back deep. He averages 8.5 yards per punt return. In the first half, Sapicki punted three times for an average of 44 yards. He got off a 51-yarder in the first half. And another good booming kick. Yes, good hang time, too. Kolasar at the 19. Good coverage by the Badgers. There's the flag down. Finally, Marker back at the 31-yard line. Philip Waters made the tackle. A 51-yard punt by Sapicki. Defensive holding coming up against after the punt. Let's see if it was after the punt. We are holding on the, on the receiving team beyond the neutral zone, post scrimmage kick spot, 10 yards. Ready test of early and Miami leading 28 to nothing at the half against Northern Illinois. Bob Perryman has carried five times for 18 yards so far. Well, I'll tell you one thing, if something Unbelievable doesn't happen. I think you can almost write up the Heisman Trophy for Vinny Testaverde right now. Would you think so, Mel? I would agree with you. With a great performance against Oklahoma. It's Perryman again. Showing that tremendous power, dragging three tacklers with him. It was Michael Reed who first put the hit on him. You see that extra churning? The legs keep churning. Got the first down, I think. Very close. See where they're marking. Yes, sir. The three Michigan backs, White, Perriman, Wiltshire, have all been impressive. And remember, they're playing without their leading rusher, Jamie Morris, the younger brother of the Giants, Joe Morris, who's out with a bad knee. Perriman in the backfield, along with Wiltshire. Collision, a broken play, and Harbaugh gets trampled by his own man. Obviously a mix-up. Harvest pass is complete to White at the 25. Riding down close to a first down, but he appears to be short. Dan Kissling, number 45, made the tackle for Wisconsin. I tell you, he's dangerous coming out of that back room. When Gerald White gets the deep man in the eye, very good pass receiver. And off to Wiltshire. He's got the first down. Good football team. Good football team you're witnessing tonight in Michigan. Michael Reed again on the stop for Wisconsin. Sorry. What a marvelous game he's played. He sure has. But they're a little bit too strong. The Wolverines ranked in the top ten, of course, year in and year out, it seems. Wiltshire has carried 14 times for 66 yards and two touchdowns. Eight minutes left, third quarter. Michigan piling up the first downs. Wisconsin with only six. Wiltshire in the eye. Change it play. Wiltshire. Look at those huge holes that that Michigan offensive line is blowing open. But I tell you, he's per he looks like a perfect back to me for, for the eye back. He's a great eye back. He's got good sense running the football if you take a look at it from the eye. He just knows when that hole's going to open. That's an instinct, too, folks. You're a deep man in the eye back there. You've got to have that knack of just knowing when to cut. It comes I have natural. a face mask on the defense, on sportsmanlike defense. Two fouls against Wisconsin. Yep. The nation's most efficient passer a year ago, currently ranked third in NCAA stats, and the handoff is the fullback, Bob Perriman. Michigan just grinding it out. David Wings, number 48, made the tackle for Wisconsin. They're also grinding time off that clock. It's amazing. The Wolverines have allowed only six points in the third quarter this year. And Wisconsin will be lucky to get their hands back on the football the way the Michigan going. is controlling things. Kenny right. Higgins is wide to the right. Going to have to put it up. And then, of course, if he does have to put it up, it seems as if everybody's open. Again with time. Look He's got here. a man wide open. The tight end, Jeffrey Brown, has a first down near the 20. Not only was he open, Mel, everybody else was open, too. So it's, it's one of those things when he goes back, he says, oh, first guy he looks at's open, so he's going to throw it. A gain of 14 yards on the play. 
Michigan threatening to blow this game wide open. It was 17 to 3 Michigan at the half. His two turnovers put 10. On first down, it's Perriman on the sweep. Written out of bounds near the 15 yard line by Michael Reed and Bobby Taylor. Michael Reed is having one of the better games I've ever seen by a collegiate linebacker. <laughs> He's all over the field. And he's about the only only thing defensively. He's uh, let's put it this way. He gets his chance to make a few tackles because everybody at the line of scrimmage is blocked and those linebackers is right comes right to you. Gain of six yards on first down. So it'll be second down and four less than six minutes remaining in the third quarter. and Perryman in the eye formation. Play action fake. Harbaugh on a rollout. Into the end zone. Uh, interference, incomplete. Interference and the flag goes. He got knocked down. Trying <laughs> to go to Ken Higgins, but you know, I think if Harbaugh wanted to run that one in, he could He's got a lot of daylight here. Now he kind of slows okay. it up. Now there's a defender over on the left side, too. But look, he, he got hit before the ball got there. Number 45 is Dan Kissling on the interference. Put an elbow on Ken Higgins back. And it's pass interference against <laughs> Wisconsin. So that'll be a first and goal situation for the Wolverines at the two. Pretty nice sustained drive. This ball started inside the 10 yard line. Defensive pass interference. You would expect the Wolverines to go to the wishbone. Michigan leading 24-3. Perriman, Wiltshire, and White, the wishbone. Two tight ends. The crowd doing their best to make life difficult for Jim Harbaugh, but he's in control now, and it's Wiltshire. Stop cold. Guess who hit him again? Michael Harbaugh running the option on the keeper. He's in for a touchdown. And that'll be all for Mr. Harbaugh. What a night. Scored a touchdown through a touchdown pass. He's thrown the football for over 240 yards. And there's still four, four, four minutes, 48 seconds to go, third quarter. And one of those big bodyguards going off the field with him, number 67, John Vitale, the center. You have to give a lot of credit on Michigan offensive line, controlling the line of scrimmage. So it's now 30 to 3 in favor of Michigan. Pat Moons is in again with Monty Robbins holding. A four yard run by Jim Harbaugh for the touchdown, his second rushing touchdown of the year. And Moons' kick is perfect. So the Wolverines of Michigan have taken over and with 448 remaining in the third quarter here at Camp Randall Stadium. It's now Michigan 31 and Wisconsin 3. The 11 play 90 yard drive capped off by a three yard run by Jim Harbaugh who's had a tremendous game. Bud Keys indeed at quarterback. He passed for 829 yards and eight touchdowns last year as a sophomore through three touchdown passes in one game against Nevada Las Vegas and he'll go to the air on first down. Pass is complete. Scott Bester on the reception for a first down. That's his first catch of the year. Mr. Bester. Third quarter of the last two games. Pass is complete. Bill Williams on the reception. So Jim Hillis, the Wisconsin coach, Doing a lot of substituting in this second half. Marvin Hartley breaking tackles inside the 30. Still on his feet down to the 25-yard line. A good run by Marvin Hartley. Tim Scholey, number 29, finally stopped him. Good hard running for the first down. Marvin Hartley breaks a tackle there. Got the first down. He's got 23 yards rushing. He made his first collegiate start last year against Indiana. And his first start rushed for 74 yards. Big, strong back. First down for the Badgers. Got a triple on the left. 
But keys to throw, and it's intercepted. The third yes, interception of the game by Andy Moeller. Oh, I tell you, that wasn't the quarterback's fault. They blitzed him. They blitzed him. Todd Schulte Wright came in on the quarterback, and he really caused him to rush the pitch. And Andy Moeller, that's three, three tonight. Wow. Two in the first half and one in the second half for Moeller. Now watch the interception. There's 41, and we'll be back in a minute. This is Super Football Saturday night on TNT. Great deal, but you know the manufacturer's warranty is just 90 days. May I suggest this dandy little service? So closing in on the legendary Fielding H. Yost with the all-time victories at Michigan. He needs seven victories to pass Yost to 165 games as the Wolverines head coach. First unit is still in there for the Wolverines. And that surprises me. I, I didn't think we'd see any more of Harbaugh. Maybe, maybe he had his mind made up. He's going to play the third quarter if he did well. Maybe. But I don't think they need uh, Jim Harbaugh in there. Bob so. Perryman on the carry for five yards on first down. Well, not only is Harbaugh in yeah. there, but Perryman and Wiltshire, the starting running backs, the entire offensive line yeah. is still in there. He's got a guy named Chris Zerbrug that he could give a little experience playing time to right now. Kenny Higgins is wide to the left. John Colasar split wide to the right. Gerald White, 22, and Bob Perriman, 37 in the I formation. White. Dropped down by David Wings, number 48. Paterno with 191. Vince Dooley picked up another today. What a cast that is. Some great coaches. Don't forget Eddie Robinson down at Graham. Well, this is, this is just Division One. I know it, but you Eddie got has to mention him, 322 boys. wins. Yes, Grambling. Well, they're short of the first down. It's third down one. The Wolverines go to the wishbone. Perriman over the top. Got it. Tim Jordan tried to time his leap and go up with him to stop him. First down. Michigan with 17 first downs. Wisconsin has nine. 204 remaining in the wide in Perriman in the eye. The handoff to Perriman for a couple of yards. And now let's go to Kevin Sladen in Atlanta with an update. All right, Mel, a couple of teams in Harbaugh. Going long. He's got Higgins and there's a penalty marker down as he's wrestled down by Bobby Taylor. But what a catch by Ken Higgins. That's the fourth pass tonight that Harbaugh has just absolutely been sensational with great touch. Fourth pass tonight completed over 30 yards. Look at this pitch right down the sidelines. Kenny Higgins. With a nice touch. One, two, three. Sets up. It's like face guarding by Bobby sure Taylor. Was. And the flag absolutely was thrown. Bobby Taylor. Interference on the defense. Decline. The pass is complete. We'll take the game. First down. Pass interference, but they will decline the penalty and take a 39-yard game. Which I think it should be tacked on there. I've always felt that the defensive pass interference. That makes a good catch. There's no penalty. They get the ball there. There is a penalty. They still get the ball there. I don't know. It protects it if it's incomplete, but I think it should be tacked on. First down to 28. Paravin falling one of those big linemen for about eight yards on first down. He just rode the block of the right tackle, John Elliott. Guess who's on the stop? Gerald White fumbles the football. And it looks like Wisconsin has it. They do. Boykins recovered. Got a little cute, try to get outside. Just a little off tackle play. He's got to control the football and just pops it off. Gerald White, Rick Graff. Rick Graff made the hit and Boykins recovered the football. But Key's on the move and his pass is completed. 
Joe Armantrout. They've been pretty successful with that short stuff. A little roll out and hit the back of the tight end on a little delay. Haven't, as you said, Mel, they haven't completed much to their wide receivers all, all night long. Well, Wisconsin was shut out in the third quarter. To make matters worse, Wisconsin has been outscored 42 to 6 in the fourth quarter of games this year. Second down and one. Marvin Artley and Joe Armantrout in the I formation. The handoff to Artley who fumbles the football, and it looks like Michigan may have recovered. The Wolverines have it. Another costly Wisconsin turnover as J.J. Grant, number 95, recovered the fumble. Oh, J.J. got it. All right. Wisconsin, I think the only thing that they see tonight, you see the ball pop loose right at the, right at the line of scrimmage. And J.J.'s got it. Michigan's back in business. About 50. My cold's about ready to just absolutely kill me. Jim Harbaugh is still at quarterback. With the Wolverines leading 31 to 3. Bob Perriman is at fullback. Gerald White is the tailback. The first unit is still in there. White rumbling through a gaping hole. And let's go back to Kevin Slade in Atlanta with an update. All right, Mel, Texas has... Seconds, Wisconsin had the ball for only three minutes and 32 seconds. They also have about 435 yards in offense so far. Second down, six. It's Perriman running right up the back of one of his blockers, Michael Dames, number 76. The safest thing you can do if you're a Michigan running back, just get behind one of those big linemen and follow him. And they are... Looks like he had the first down yardage before being driven back by Bobby Taylor and friends. This telecast is authorized under broadcasting rights granted by the Big Ten Conference. Any publication, rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game without the expressed written consent. They're short of the first down. It's fourth and one. Harbaugh on the keeper. He's got the first down. Rick Graff, number 99, made the tackle for Wisconsin. Graf who missed the second half of last year with uh, knee problems. The Wisconsin faithful beginning to lead. Harbaugh and White in the I formation. Harbaugh on the rollout. He fires and it's incomplete. Ken Higgins was out of bounds when he made the reception. Second down, 10. Play action. Loads of time, complete to Higgins. He's got a first down at the 22-yard line. A quick release. David Wings made the tackle for Wisconsin. I tell you what a night. Everybody's been open. He's got all the time in the world to throw the football. I tell you, this is the kind of night quarterback dreams about. Just stand back there. He could have, he could have waited another three seconds. Eight catches for Mr. Higgins tonight, 100 and 164 yards. He only had seven receptions coming into the game. First down at the 21 of Wisconsin. Harbor's over 300 yards. He's got a man open, but Jeffrey Brown, the tight end, drops the football. The big guy from a wide to the right. On the handoff, Wilcher inside the 20. And tripped up on a fine tackle by number 45, Dan Kissling of Wisconsin. Wiltshire, a tough man to bring down the open field. Well, he'll learn something on that play because he'll get the feel for that. He should have taken about two steps left, cut, and cut straight up field that time. He tried to get outside, and it wasn't there. Harbaugh. Inside the 15, out of bounds near the 10. Chased on by Bobby Taylor. Jim Harbaugh called by Bo Schembechler, the best the man head up the center. You make it so easy, it'd be unbelievable. There he is. Hey, Richard yeah. Blaine. That's automatic. First down. Yeah, you better put a head, man head up the center. Or they just quarterback just taps the uh, center on the fanny. It's just between the quarterback and the center. 
and he just quarterback sneak and sees. I wonder. That. And the pitch is to Wilcher. Wilcher's down here the seven yard line, and let's go back to Kevin Slayton in Atlanta for an update. White and Wilcher still in those running backs. The handoff to Wilcher inside the five. A penalty marker down as he's tackled by Bobby Taylor of Wisconsin. I know when those flags start coming a long distance, you see those flags fly through the air about 30 or 40. Holding feet is going to be holding. Against Purdue, he's from Alliance, Ohio. He's a pretty good quarterback, if I remember. Right. Holding. Zerbrook going to the air for the first time. And the pass is incomplete, intended for Ken Higgins. Jim Harbaugh completed yeah, pretty, pretty 15 good night. of 24 passes for 310 yards and one touchdown, and he also scored a touchdown. And it's incomplete. He saw a wide open and tried to fire it to him, but he couldn't come up with it. Out of desperation. 35-yard field goal attempt by Pat Moons. And it's good. Well, the Wolverines pick up three more points. The Badgers. Keys has a man wide open in the end zone. Brad Kennedy for the touchdown. Of course, this is not Michigan's number one unit. And Brad Keys really, but Keys really look good. Kennedy, the big tight end, made a good catch. Take a look at that good Wisconsin fan. Play action again. Now he's got a lot of time to throw the football. He's right on the money. That's Key's first touchdown pass of the season. And Wisconsin's only touchdown of the game. Todd Gregory is in to try to tack on the point with Paul Christ holding. The kick is good. So with 4-12 remaining in the game, it's now Michigan 34 and Wisconsin 10. We'll be right back. Pass capping off a nine-play, 69-yard drive. The Michigan cheerleaders. Eric Campbell, number five, drops back deep. Todd Gregory kicking off. Campbell is, really has some speed. He's a high hurdler on the Michigan track team. Onside's kick by Wisconsin. The Michigan players indicate that they have the football. And a shot at it. Hicks recovered it. They had a shot. It was deflected. Loose football live and onside kick. Here it comes. Now watch. First Wolverine misses it right there. He touched it. It's Ken Higgins who missed it. Ivan Hicks gets the football back. Oh. Michigan will have excellent field position at the 48-yard line of Wisconsin with 4-12 left. Chris Zerbrug is the quarterback. Phil Webb, number 46, and they're running back along with Perriman, 37. And this is Webb. Brought down by Charlie Foley, the inside linebacker, number 42. Phil Webb is a junior from Pittsburgh. See that on the back of the Wisconsin helmets, the DM and memory of the late coach here at the University of Wisconsin, Dave McLean, who passed away at the age of 49. What a wonderful guy, I tell you. They loved him up here. Fine coach. Out of respect for Dave, they a little dedication. It's nice. Ernie Holloway, number 48, is in it running back at second down and seven for the Wolverines. Hand off to Holloway. And again, it's Charlie Foley on the stop. Holloway, a junior from Detroit, who sidelined most of last year, hobbled with an ankle injury. Clock winding down on another Michigan victory. 
Jim Hillis will see his team's record drop to one and four. Bill Webb is back in. They go to the wishbone on third down two. Zerbrug running the option on the keeper. He's got the first down. Rick Graff, 99, coming up to make the tackle for the Badgers. Fullback went the wrong way. It was a broken play they got away with. He got the first down anyway. Zerberg said, he looked over to the next one. It's my fullback. Three of Wisconsin, two and a half remaining. Here we come. The pitch to Webb. Gets a block. And he's out of bounds at the 28, chased out by Bobby Taylor, 44, in last week's game against Wyoming with a hamstring pull, but... He rushed for over a thousand yards last year as a junior. This is Ernie Holloway for the Wolverines. The fake Zerbrug lets it go and it's incomplete. Looked like we might have a little interference there, but no flag thrown as Jeff Brown, the tight end, got tangled up in the backfield. Didn't make it. Michael Blankens makes the stop on Bob Perriman. They are being in control, leading 34 to 10. There were a few bright spots for Wisconsin. The second half play of Bud Keys at quarterback, and throughout the game, the play of inside linebacker Michael Reed, who had 15 solo tackles, six assists, and he's in for the touchdown. touchdown to make it 34 16 in favor of Michigan Andre McIntyre hit him but he was able to get in for the touchdown Todd Gregory to try the point after and it is good you pick up your morning paper this game will look a little closer than it really was but yes, sir. now Michigan 34 and Wisconsin 17 let's go back to Kevin Slater all right, down in the southwest Wisconsin. Michigan has another onside kick. It looks like it. 37 seconds left. Michigan anticipating an onside kick with a lot of receivers, defensive backs up on the front line, and here it comes. Taking a wrong turn. <laughs> Kick went about three yards. <laughs> Penalty against Wisconsin. So Michigan will take over. 37 seconds remaining in the game. And we've got a third quarterback in there now for Michigan. Michael Taylor takes over. So we've seen Jim Harbaugh, Chris Zerbrook, and now Taylor. Taylor keeping it himself. Across the 30. Out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Good run. Keith Browning chased him out. Picked up 17. Little buck. Out of the wishbowl. 31 seconds remaining. Michael Taylor, a sophomore from Princeton, Michigan. Everybody running the option again. They're running left this time. Got a little wide side of the field to his left. Oh, 
And off to his fullback, Bob Perryman. One of the big stars offensively for Michigan today is the quarterback Jim Harbaugh, who passed for 310 yards and a touchdown. He also ran for one score. Ken Higgins had eight receptions for 164 yards, and Thomas Wiltshire carried 21 times for 73 yards and two touchdowns. Looks like that'll be the final play of the football game. As the Wolverines of Michigan remain unbeaten. And Bo Schembechler being hoisted to the shoulders of his players, celebrating his 200th career win as a collegiate coach, the winningest active coach in Division 1A. Congratulations to Bo Schembechler. Great career. Final score for Madison, Wisconsin. Michigan 34th week. Skip Carey 